Here's the putter, Jake Bailey, ready to do the honors. And we are underway in Foxborough. From the end zone comes Chris Claybrooks to return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. for the first time with Travis Etienne. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They'll try the left side with Etienne. And he's gonna lose yards. They take him down at the 26. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Now Lawrence to throw. Flushed out right. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Great vision there by Lawrence as he scrambles for a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A handoff for ETN. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 30. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. Lawrence with the handoff to Robinson. Bulldozes past him. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll run it now with Robinson. Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. And that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold him to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, but they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Escaping the pressure right. Over the middle, hauled in by Shark. And the Jaguars are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Now Lawrence. And it's caught. Three yards the gain there, second down. Here's Lawrence. Flush to his right. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Trevor Lawrence taking it in from a yard out. And the Jaguars drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point attempt to follow here. And this is up and good. The score now 7-0 Jaguars. After one, 7-0 on EA Sports. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Jones rolling to his left. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 
15 yards is the pick up there in the drive starting very nicely. First down. Throwing Jones. Rolling to his right. On the run. He'll let this go deep right side. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll take this all the way down to the 15-yard line. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. He's at the 40. 20. They are not ready for us. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. We thought this defense would be opportunistic, and they were. Here, you're already up. Now you got a two-touchdown lead. I tell you, going out there on defense, did they have a little bit of extra momentum with a score already on the board? Oh, without a doubt. That already felt good to them. They took it and used it and obviously put up another one. But here's the thing now. Some defense coordinators might want to pull their guys back a little bit because they don't want them to make mistakes because they're too over -amped. Others say, I've got two touchdown lead. Go get them, guys. They'll be even more aggressive. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. Throwing again on second and 10. Jones. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars 42. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Back to throw again. There goes a deep ball. End zone. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. They'll look to throw again. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And oh, that would get a wide up incomplete. Nearly an interception in the end zone. Probably should have been. Third down coming up. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. This one to Bourne, and he's got it. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 19. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. That one goes for 24 yards. So here's a first and ten now down inside the 20. Off the play fake, Jones. Buying time to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Second and 10. Back to throw, Jones to the end zone, but it's incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Steps away. And he's got it. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry from 19 yards away. And the Patriots are back within a score. And he pushed it right. It's no good. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. 
And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Lawrence will throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. To throw again on second down. Lawrence eluding the pressure right. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This is caught, and he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Touchdown, Jaguars! Travis Etienne, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is up to 15 now. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And with 25 seconds to go, we'll, we'll see how they want to play this. Open man, the tight end, Henry. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Jones now on first down. Open man here, the tight end, Henry. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well inside the 25. Now Jones throwing on first down. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And they're going to fake it. He wants to throw it here. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. Taylor now from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done.
Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Off play action, Jones. Flushed out right, on the run. He'll let this go deep right side. And this one is incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Jones. That's caught by Myers. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 45-yard line. 23 yards on the play. Now a first down carry for Harris. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. Second down at four. Now here's another carry for Harris. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. And the Jags, Charles, I think they're in the dime here. Covering a lot of field. Looking to throw. Jones. He's going to let this go for the end zone. That's to Aguilar. Touchdown, Patriots. Well, we saw this plenty last year in college. He loved to take his shots downfield, and that throw, that was a thing to behold there. And you'd think on third down, they'd just be looking for something right beyond the sticks, and I think they kept the defense flat-footed as a result because they decided they were going to take a shot right there, and it ended up being a big play. And the Jaguars are going to cover this one up. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter there with the onside kick, what'd you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel that they've got to go ahead and make something happen, steal a possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right back in a position to try and win the game. A nice-looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down, escaping the pressure right. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. On third and one, it's Lawrence. Forced out to it, under pressure now, and he's going to go down just inside the five-yard line. And the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They'll roll him out right. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. He's at the 50, the 30, 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Well, dare I say it, it's kind of quid pro quo. Both defenses now with an interception return for a touchdown. Your vocabulary, sir. Well done. This time, the extra point up and good. And that will tie our game here in the third. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Here's Chris Claybrooks to return. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. 
Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now this throw caught left side, and he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 29-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. On first down, Lawrence flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. On second down, a run with ETN. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now ETN. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. Eluding the pressure right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Being chased out left. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A great play there there to make the grab and the Jaguars have taken the lead extra point splits the uprights and they will take a seven point lead after the touchdown Cook now to kick this one away The Pats at the line, ready to go. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Jones throw there, taken in by Smith. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Back to throw, Jones. And the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well have run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Now Jones. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this nearly intercepted. Probably should have been. Had he caught it, it would have sealed it. Instead, one more chance coming up on fourth down. To throw is Jones. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Jags take over in terrific field position. 
On first and 10, it's ETN. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back, and they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 59 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. They'll run here with Robinson. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. On third down, it's Robinson, and the stop will come inside the five at the four. Give him four yards there, but they're still well short of the goal line with fourth down now looming. 